And welcome back to the Factor Uncensored and Funny Ass Fridays. And now we have Comedian Today. Let's give a round of applause. Hey, hey. All right, so I started off the new year, recently divorced, and I, I'll admit, it was my fault. I changed. I changed. I lost 100 pounds. Okay, yes. All right, it was the same five pounds 20 times, but you know, like, who's counting? You know what I'm saying? In Houston, you know, I like to eat good. I, I like good food. I live in L.A. half the time. They told me, girl, you got an addiction. I was like, an addiction to good food? I'm like, no, 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 you tripping. But, like, because food addicts don't really get respect. If you think about it, when you're a food addict, your drug dealers are different. You know, they're on the corner of every grocery store across America. And right now, let me tell you all the biggest gangsters that are supported by the world got everybody pushing them damn Girl Scout cookies. Okay? And I know the Girl Scouts, they sell Girl Scout cookies. You know, it's for women's empowerment, making money. So I have a conundrum. I want women to get their money. But at the same time, I'm trying to get snatched on this waistline. You know what I'm saying, right? It's always one. You know the one that's the star, right? You know what I mean? I'll make it inside the grocery store, you know, shop the perimeters, all the green, fresh grocery. But it's always one that meet me by that trunk. Talk about, she be talking about, she slick. She be like, come on, Tay. Come on, girl. I'm like, how you know my name? She got a nickname, come on, Tay. I'm like, you know you want them thin mints? They thin mints, bro. And I'm over here like this, like, girl, just give me two and get up out of here. Don't you tell nobody nothing, you know? Really, my ex, he was passive aggressive because of my thing with the food. So when we would argue, you know what he would do? He would eat my leftovers. I know, right. And then be like, um, it's just food. You, you're selfish. And I'm like, my therapist said it is boundaries. You know what I'm saying? It's not food. It's boundaries. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to set some boundaries, okay? I segregated the refrigerator. <laughs> Top shelf, all of my food. Oh, uh -huh. Glass containers, beautifully displayed, all of his food, bottom shelf, plastic containers, 99 cent store, been microwaved five too many times. That's for you. That's all for you right there. See, the problem is, is that he believed in integration, okay? All right? So he would come on over there. And the one time, let me tell you, this almost, this, this really did break us up, right? He had made some beef ribs, talking about he left it for me. But then I guess he got hungry again. He went in there and ate the beef rib he left for me. So, you know, sometimes you got to meet people where they at. You got to speak their language, you know, spiritually. I was like, look, 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 boo. Spiritually, you are my Adam. I am your Eve. So I come from your rib. You can't just take that back when you get the munchies, man. Okay. Thank you. Great job. Great job. Thank you. Natale, funny-ass Friday.